Hi everyone, my name is Megan Stackhouse and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service Office here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And we're back today to talk about the April 2021 climate summary for Eastern Utah and Western Colorado. So jumping right in, our top weather story of the month was the April 15th rainfall. We had an area of low pressure that was situated over the Great Basin and the moisture and lift associated with it led to scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms across the region. With these storms, we had some accumulating small hail, gusty winds, and also some moderate rainfall. The Grand Junction Regional Airport received 0.26 inches of precipitation on April 15th. This actually ended up being the single most amount of precipitation we've seen at the airport, or had seen up to that point, um, since the October 25th snowstorm. So it had been almost six months since we had seen that much rainfall or precipitation. And as you can tell, we got pretty jazzed about it. That's why we took a screenshot halfway through the event and uh, posted it on social media. So it was great to see that much rain. Looking at high temperatures across the region for the month of April, high temperatures were generally in the mid 70s to mid 80s. The hottest temperature was 85 degrees at Rifle uh, Garfield County Airport on April 30th. Grand Junction, we topped out at 84 degrees on April 30th. And the coldest high temperature was at the Aspen Airport with 74 degrees again on April 30th. Looking at low temperatures across the region for the month, low temperatures were generally in the mid-teens to low 20s, but the coldest temperature of 6 degrees was recorded at the Craig Airport on April 20th. The most mild temperature was at the Grand Junction Airport with 23 degrees on April 20th, and Montrose also had uh, 23 degrees, but on April 1st. Looking at precipitation across the region for the month of April, we had eight of our 10 climate sites that ended the month with below normal precipitation. The two outliers were the Bernal and, Craig, uh, Bernal and Canyonlands Airport, which received above normal precipitation. Bernal did have the most precipitation for the month of April with 0.84 inches, which was two hundredths of an inch above normal. The Canyonlands Airport received just over three quarters of an inch, which was 0.07 inches above normal for April. The least amount of precipitation fell at the Cortez Airport with only 0.01 inches or a hundredth of an inch, which was 1.13 inches below normal for the month of April. Grand Junction, we ended the month with 0.30 inches, much of that falling on that April 15th event. Looking at the latest day of the drought as a result of the continued uh, below normal precipitation for the majority of the region, the drought did persist, the extreme to exceptional drought across much of the region. Um, and the exceptional drought actually did worsen or expand a little bit to include more of Northwest Colorado by the end of the month. We did, however, have the severe drought, which persisted across portions of Southwest Colorado. And then looking at the outlook for the state of the drought for the month of May, the drought is expected to persist in our region. And finally, looking at the Climate Prediction Center's outlook for the month of May, Right now, above normal temperatures are favored for all of eastern Utah and western Colorado for the month of May, with below normal precipitation being favored for eastern Utah and much of southwest Colorado. And that wraps up our April 2021 climate summary for eastern Utah and western Colorado. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you all next month. Bye, guys.